Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Dr. John Winarsik uh, broadcasting again from uh, beautiful Cal West Puerto Rico, San Juan Bautista School of Medicine. I am making this special video today because, as you know, with all of the craziness that's going on with the coronavirus, the students are asking themselves, how can I go to class? And the professors are asking themselves, how can I give a class? Well, right now, I am giving you a class from my office uh, at San Juan Bautista, but I could just as easily be giving it from my laptop at home or an airport or a truck stop or anywhere I want to. So I'm going to show you in about five minutes a super easy, free way to give classes, to give lectures, record them, beautiful audio, beautiful video, and then put them online and send them to your students. Well, we'll start out with a microphone. <clears throat> Here's a microphone. It's also part of a headset, but it's really only the microphone part that you need. And that's the part I'm going to be talking into a little bit louder now. And I've been wearing these and using these for about five years. It's called the Logitech H600, and on eBay, I got it for only $21. It's, it's incredibly clear and incredibly reliable. And uh, right now, I'm going to show you how you could very, very easily um, use this to give your lectures on your computer at home and then put them online for your students anywhere or everywhere. I'm going to close down this uh, ugly face now and uh, get to it. Uh, here you could see my computer screen. This is my entire screen because I'm recording in full screen mode. Now, if I go to, let's say, uh, uh, a website like Google and anything you see on here, and I type in the phrase D-E-B-U-T, recording. So I'm going to be re uh, downloading the recording program debut recording and uh, I'm going to find it with Google and then you can see a whole bunch of links and one of them says free software and by the way it really is free there's no strings attached to it there's only one little tiny trick which I'll tell you about later so you go to the free software and you can see, oh, oh, right about here, there's this little blue icon that says Debut Video Capture Software. Well, you could either download it for Windows or you could download it for Mac. And after you download it, you can install it. Okay, and then once you install it, you'll have this little blue icon on your screen that's called Debut or Debut Recording Software. And you click on it. And bingo, that's all that you need. Now, this is your control panel for making your lecture. Okay? All you have to do technically is press the red button and you can start uh, recording. But what I'm going to do is show you a couple of very important buttons to uh, press first. Now, I know there's a whole bunch of them here and they cause you a lot of anxiety, but there's only basically two or three buttons you have to worry about. One of them is called Audio Options, right up here. And if you press Audio Options, make sure that it's not only recognizing your microphone, but it's also recognizing your speakers because you might want to play music or uh, play a uh, educational YouTube clip during your lecture. So make sure both of these are checked off because in the default stage, I don't think the speakers one is checked off. But now we checked off speakers as well. The other thing you want to check off is under mouse options. You want to make sure, because this is not the default, that the show mouse cursor box is checked off. That way, if you check it off and you say OK, then everything you time you move your mouse cursor or arrow on the screen, it will point to what you want to do. And a lot of people, when they show PowerPoints, they want to point to things as well. So now 
we are pretty much ready to go. And remember, for the beginning, I would recommend recording in the full screen mode. That means your entire screen, which is this, is going to be recorded. There are uh, methods here for recording just in partial screen, which you might want to play with later. But right now, we're ready to rock and roll. And once I press this red button, now remember, all we did was checked audio options to make sure that your speakers were uh, recording as well. And under mouse options, we pressed show mouse cursor, which enables these little arrows to run around. Now we are ready to go in full screen mode just by pressing the red button. So we're going to do that. And then you'll say start recording. And there'll be a little bit of a countdown. And guess what? As of right now, uh, everything uh, you and I see on my screen is going to be recorded with this program. So if you want to whip up uh, one of your PowerPoints, oh, I don't know, I got a million of them, but let's do Hemonk, for example. Uh, everything on your screen now will be seen by your students. Uh, and uh, if you, for example, just wanted to show this part, you could do either full screen mode or you could press uh, view only part of the screen. But right now, the entire screen and the little mouse circling around the R is being recorded as well as your voice. And by the way, if you uh, also wanted to, for example, uh, show music, or play music. I usually play music uh, with all of my uh, webinars simply because it's a test for the quality of sound. Because the better quality of sound on your lecture or on your webinar, the better the quality of education. That's the number one principle. Now, there are a lot of so-called streaming programs that we have been experimenting with in the last week, and they basically allow everybody to speak all at once. And if there's even one or two people that forget to turn off their damn microphone when they turn off their damn mouth, it's going to create feedback, and the entire session will be ruined. That's why I recommend making your video, giving it to your students, and then perhaps answering questions on chat or whatever you want to do. So let's say we were looking at oh, some of these uh, reference ranges for red cells. And while we were looking at it, we also wanted to play some music, for example. So let's go to our music box. And I have about a million different songs. And uh, I don't know, how about if we try, um, give me some, uh, how about if we try something from the Bee Gees right now, like Jive Talking. So not only are you hearing my voice, and not only are you seeing my PowerPoints, but you're hearing music. And of course, you could make your music louder or softer. Okay. So now that we have them given you the demonstration, there's only one more thing you have to learn. Now that we've closed everything down, you can still see my screen and you can still see my arrow circling my flower. You have to press the control and the F10 key all at once. You got to remember that control F10, which I'm going to do right now